We go to Mylene, who's on the line in San Francisco. Mylene, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi, Ken. How are you? I am living the dream, Mylene. How are you? Thanks. Um, it's my pleasure talking to you. Well, um, good. What's so, going on? Um, so I love my job, and I love the flexibility. I can work from home, but I feel like I'm underpaid. Um, I did a research, and I can get a job that's paying more, but I will have to um, have additional costs like daycare yeah. or babysitter. Yeah. So um, how can I address this to my to our CFO? So yeah. what happened was I already, I already um, speak with my um, immediate manager, and he said he has no control of it, and he said he already told our CFO, and the CFO is planning to talk to me after the holiday break. But until now, I haven't heard from him. Great. So All right. I wonder how can I address this? Yeah, here's what you do. Get his attention. Yeah, so you go right back to the leader and you say, hey, I'm following up. We're into the third week of January. Uh, January's almost done. And I just like to follow up. You had said before the break that you had no control over my pay, uh, but you had let the CFO know and the CFO was planning to talk to me. Can we have that meeting? Because I'd love to be here. And, uh, yeah. and and so you follow up. Now, let's assume that you're going to get a yes on that meeting. You have got to go do your research with places like Glassdoor and there's other websites out there uh, where you can see what the market range is for your position. Have you already done that homework? Yes, I did. All right. And so in the range that you have found, are you on the low end? I'm on the low end. Yeah. I, actually, it's for... A, um like a beginner senior accountant. Yeah. But I feel like I'm I'm more of that and also Great. I'm a key player right now. Um they um terminated some um some leadership. Great. And um they, they added that to my um my Okay. My Perfect. So here's where you sit right now, Mylene. You have leverage. Mm -hmm. You have leverage because you've done the market research and you've seen that you are on the low end of the range. So that shows that there is at least a market case for you to make more. Now, does not mean you deserve more or that they're guaranteed to give it to you? We're just going to we're going to show the CFO that that, you know, you've got to you've got some leverage here. So this is what mm -hmm. the range is. I'm on the low end. Secondly, you just added leadership responsibilities to my plate. And I didn't get a bump. And I'm just wondering if I continue to do well with this added responsibility, do you see a growth plan that doesn't just include responsibility, but also pay? And so you're not going in, you know, trying to paint uh, him or her in the corner. You're just saying, I'm having a conversation here uh, because I'm mm -hmm. on the low range and I want to make more. I want to grow. And I'm really thrilled. I love my job. Like, I'm thrilled. It's just I got more responsibility. I didn't get increased pay. And I understand mm -hmm. I need to earn that, but can we at least have a conversation about getting me uh, in the higher range? And what do I need to do? Let's just see how they handle that information. Now, that's what you do first. If you do mm -hmm. those things that I just told you, Mylene, and they mm -hmm. don't respond positively, then you have to decide, am I okay with that? Is that going to hurt my feelings? Am I going to continue to feel devalued to the point that it will affect my performance and it will I affect can't. my emotions? <laughs> yeah, I know you can't. I can't. I know you can't. So what does that tell you? If they don't respond the right way, then you begin to look somewhere else. And I don't want you to jump until you've got something else. So you can hang in there. Mm -hmm. You're a big gal. You're awesome. You're tough. You can take the hurt feelings long enough to find something else. And then you just adjust. You can either make more money, and mm -hmm. then that absorbs the daycare, or you find something that allows you to stay in the home. But, yes, you mm -hmm. need to move on. Absolutely. And that's how you do that, folks. Uh, let me just summarize what I just told Mylene for those of you out there who are feeling like you should be being paid more. I have said this a hundred times. I'm going to say it a hundred times more, maybe a thousand times. Don't ask for a raise. Don't ask for a raise because when you ask for a raise and it's not been a part of the natural conversation with your leader, let me tell you what happens. Your leader automatically goes on the defensive because it's just, it's a tennis match. You hit it across the net. Hey, I'd like to talk about a raise. And they feel like they've got to hit the ball back. I mean, it's just natural to feel that way. And, and you don't want to do that. What you want to do is, is go in there and say, hey, can I talk to you about working with you, my leader, on a growth plan? I would like to grow. What are some areas you think I could get better? 
what training would you recommend that I go do to, to get better? Because I want to be better here so that I can get more responsibility and influence. And obviously with that additional responsibility and influence, I make more money. Now, see, that's a whole different ballgame. Because what you're doing is you're going to the leader going, hey, I first I want to know where I can get better, how I can get better, how I can be a, a greater asset to the company. And uh, I need your help. And, and it allows them to, A, not have to respond right away with a yes or no on the raise and then build a growth plan. And see, these are about measurables. Because if you get your leader committed to a growth plan and they say, if you do this, then we're going to reward you, then you've got it on paper, right? And we're on the same page. And the raise is the reward for meeting your measurables. But a leader, a healthy leader is going to respond way better. And even an unhealthy leader will respond better. If you don't go at it with, hey, I've been here three years. I haven't got a pay raise. I think you're going to pay raise. Wah, wah, wah. I mean, that's just a killer. It's going to kill the conversation. So don't go about it that way.